Hello everyone, in this tutorial I am going to show you how we can make a responsive card in HTML using CSS. This is actually really simple. So first of all, we will go inside the body and inside this body we are going to mention a div class. So here we are going to mention a class. Let's say the class name will be card. Then inside this div we are going to have some image and some text. So for image we need to mention the image tag and for text we are going to mention the p tag. I mean the paragraph tag so for image first of all we are going to give a image so here we have some cat images over here cat on cat 2 and cat 3 png so in the image source we are going to give the cat image cat dot png and in the p tag we are going to paste some random text over here so right now if we save it then if we refresh here here you can see we have the cat image and the text over here so what we are going to do right now is that we are going to copy this div control c and we'll paste it two times because we have two more cat image control v and control v so here we are going to say cat 2.png and here we say cat 3.png save it then refresh here and there you can see we have three cat image with some text so right now what we want is that we want the image and the text side by side in a single row not like this so for it we are going to keep this three div inside a single div so here we are going to mention a div this div will open over here before the first card class and this div will end after the last div so here we are going to mention a class for the first div so we are going to say over here class let's say class name will be container so let's go and write some CSS for this class container first. So for it here in the head section, we're going to mention style and inside the style, we're going to mention this class container. So for class, we need to give a dot over here and then we need to write this name, which is container. Then we'll give to second bracket and inside this container, we're going to write a CSS, which is display flex. So right now if we write display flex inside the container so what it will do is that whatever child uh, this container class has it will uh, display flex will automatically count all the child class as a single column or rows and it will display flex will do it automatically so once we write display flex it will automatically keep all the div card in a single line so that's what this flex too so right now if we refresh and here you can see all the images is in the single row as you can see and this is done by display flex this single line so here you can see that the image size is too big so let's go and fix the image size so for it uh, we are going to uh, here you can see that the image tag is inside the class card so here we are going to say over here dot card then we are going to say image img then we'll give to second bracket so here we are going to mention the image height and width we'll say over here width width will be let's say 300 px and the height will be 200 px save it then if we now refresh here you can see our images looks like this it become smaller but it doesn't look like a card right now so for it what we need to do is that we need to write some css for the class card so here we're going to say over here dot card then to second bracket and inside it we are going to say with it will be the same as the image 300 px so here you can see that the card width is 300 px so it will automatically make the text and image width 300 px so right now if we save it then here you can see that the text is too big so if we don't now refresh here you can see the text to 300 px width so right now let's go and add a background color for the card let's say over here in the card class we are going to say background color let's say it will be sky blue for now we'll change it later maybe save it then refresh and there you can see we have the background color over here but you can see that there is no gap so it looks like uh, everything is stick together so for it what we'll do is that we are going to say over here margin it will be 10 px and save then refresh and there you can see there is some gap right now now let's also say over here padding 
10 px as well so right now save it then refresh and there you can see uh, there is some color over the images as well so right now let's go and make them in the center so for it what we need to do is that we need to go to the container class and inside the container we are going to say items align items it will be center and we will also say justify content it will be center as well save it then if we refresh now and there you can see all the cart is in the center so right now let's go and add a button for every cart so let's go to our div class cart and inside this uh, div after the p tag we are going to mention a anchor tag and let's say over here in the anchor tag let's say by now you can write anything let's just go with by now let me just copy it and i'm going to paste it for every div class card so after the p tag paste it here and here save it then refresh and there you can see we have the by now button now let's go and design this by now button so uh, here you can see this is an anchor tag and which is inside the class card so for it what we'll do is that we'll say over here dot card then we'll mention the anchor tag then we'll keep to second bracket and here uh, first of all let's go and remove the underline so for it we'll say text decoration it will be none save then refresh and there you can see there is no underline under the text and after this we're going to uh, set the background color for the anchor tag let's say here background color will be black save it refresh there you can see the background color is black so let's go and change the text color and let's also make some padding as well so here we are going to say color it will be white and padding let's say padding will be 15 px save it refresh and there you can see so right now here you can see that the button got outside the card so for it what we will do is that over here we are going to say display it will be block then we are going to say over here margin uh, let's say here 20 px it will create some gap at the top and at the bottom and let's also say 100 px then it will move a little bit uh, in the center if you don't now refresh here you can see it looks like this just for this to line okay display block and margin 20 px and 100 px 20 px creates some gap at the top and at the bottom and this uh, 100 px creates some gap at the left and at the right side so right now what we'll do is that if we take our car shot over the image or over the card then it will change the color and it will also make it a little bit bigger so for it uh, what we need to do is that here you can see that we our class name is card so uh, whenever we take our cursor over here or hover our cursor over here it will change so for it what we'll do is that we say over here card clone hover we cannot give any spaces over here then we'll give to second bracket and here we are going to say background color it will be let's say white smoke and uh, let me just show you save it then refresh here if i take my cursor over here here you can see the color changes so right now let's go and add some transition transition means that the color will change slowly so here we are going to say transition it will be uh, on second all is it will change the color slowly for on second if i just refresh here and if i take my cursor over here here you can see the color changes slowly now let's make it pop out so for it i mean let's make it a bigger when our, we take our cursor so for it what we can do is that we we'll over here transform uh, it will be we will see over here scale and it will be on point on zero we'll make it just a little bit bigger save it refresh and if i take my cursor over here here you can see it gets bigger now let's go and add a border for our card let's see how it looks uh, we'll go to our card option card this this one card class and here we're going to say border uh, we'll say 5 px uh, solid and let's choose a color so let me just go to html color code uh, let's go to this link htmlcolorcodes.com and from here we can choose a border let me choose uh, this color over here you can see this is the color we'll use for border control c 
border means uh, over here at the outside of our box so here we need to give hash then paste the code save it then refresh here and there you can see there is some border over here we can uh, change the card color let's change, make the card color let's say only white i think white will look a little bit better refresh and there you can see okay i think white makes it looks better so right now let's check our card responsiveness let me just right click over here and if i click inspect then if i just make it smaller here you can see it is not responsive at all so for it we just need to write single line of css inside the container so here if we just show what here flex or it will be w r a p and save it then if we now refresh here and right now if i in click inspect and if we make it smaller here you can see it become responsive as our skin gets smaller it becomes three line then two line and then back to normal so this is how you can make responsive card in html using css i try to make this tutorial as easy as possible and i try to explain everything as much as i can uh, so this is yamin i hope you like this video and i will actually really appreciate if you subscribe this channel web technology thanks again for watching and i will see you in the next tutorial